This is going to be hard to get in all in 10 minutes, so I'm going to hurry. Everybody knows I like to use all types of 3D applications from Houdini to Cheetah 3D to all kinds of things because if I'm doing a certain model, a certain application may have certain tools that will benefit me doing it in that application better. Maybe modeling a car is easier in Maya and maybe modeling furniture or interiors is easier in cheetah because of the tools and it's nice to have an assortment of tools and people ask me well those they're kind of expensive cheetah is great because it's just 150 bucks but is there any more um cheap 3d alternatives that's not just mac only i mean is it mac and pc and there is there's a program called silo and they have a mac and pc version and a 99 dollars version and a 150 dollars version the 99 dollars version is a wonderful modeler and you can export it to mayo or houdini and, and do your effects or you can do the pro version and do your texturing. Now it's just a modeler. You don't render. You don't have or nothing like that. So um, it's called Silo. I want to open it up, and here it is, right here. Here's our interface. So let's just model something real quick. It's great, a, a great polygonal mod modeler. When I do polygonal modeling, a lot of times I'll use Silo, and a lot of game creators will use Silo too. So I'm gonna go. I've already got an image loaded in. Superman emblem right here is what we're going to model. So I'm going to go up to create and I'm going to pick my polygon tool and let's start here and let's model out our Superman here. Hit return. Now we have our Superman emblem. We can go up to display and you can you can use wireframe or shaded mode to say wireframe now we can see our dots here as you can see so let's go up to display and let's do go shaded mode now there's like a mesh okay now I've got this little emblem cut out here so let's get a new tool called cut let's go over here and let's trace out and hit return when we're done let's trace out our little emblems here let's hit cut again you can see how great this is for polygonal modeling you can just go in here and cut things out like it's not a problem at all really really great tools for this kind of modeling okay there we go let's cut some more let's go down here and cut this one Okay, return. There we go. And now let's do our two fish. I like to do call them. I like to call them two fish here in the middle. We'll just cut right up through here. We'll cut with this tool right along. I like to make points as I go. Silo has some wonderful modeling tools. I kid you not. And um, if you Google it or whatnot, or go to the Silo website you can see that they have some wonderful modeling abilities in this little application here so we're on our last backwards fish now let's go ahead and finish this up real fast because you everybody knows we just got a 10 minute limit right here on YouTube I really love this cut tools and this polygonal tool and they have a wireframe tool, an edge tool, where you can draw your edges. Instead, if you don't want to make it a polygon, if you just want to make it a line, you know. Okay, now we got that. We can go back to our display now. And we can go into our flat shaded mode. And as you can see down here, we can pick our edges, our polygons, or the whole object. Um, and this is scales, moves, pivots, rotates. And this is box select, lasso select, or paint select. You can select your points. So let's select polygon faces. And let's go in here and select that one. Delete it. We'll select this one and delete it. And you know the story. Now we can go into our points mode. And of course we can change our material. Let's add a new material. We'll use the default color. Um... Actually, that's not the default color, but you can make it any color you really want. It's up to you. We'll use this color here so I can see pretty good. So now I'm going to go in here and select my points. I'm in point mode. 
Now I can go in here and adjust my points. And we're going to do our best to line this up with the edges there. So I'm going to go through and do this. And if I run out of time, I'll just edit it out. So you guys be patient, and I'll be right back. As you can see, I'm just going through here. You can hold the alternate key and zoom in and pan and stuff. And you can work this way and get a little closer. So I'm going to go in here and adjust all these points like this. And I will be back as soon as I get finished. I'll either edit it out or speed it up. So, see you in a second, guys. Gosh, I hate this. I mean, you should be using my pen, my Wacom. But the way this microphone and stuff is laid out here, I'm having to use a mouse. And, oh, this kind of stuff is just so cumbersome when you're used to a Wacom tablet. Especially my 6x11. It's kind of really, it's really large. And when you get used to it, kind of sucks going back. When you first start using it, it's not all that wonderful. You kind of take some getting used to, right? But as you use it, the more you use it, the more you learn, hey, you know what? I kind of see what everybody's going up over. Because at first I was like, what in the world is everybody fussing about with these things? It ain't all that great. But man, when you get into doing stuff like this, it's great. Okay, that's looking, starting to look pretty decent now. I could tweak on this forever, but, of course, as we all know, I don't have time to do that. Not with YouTube's stupid 10-minute limit. What's their deal with that? Why do they got to have a 10-minute limit? You tell me that, please. I would love to know. Ooh, that one's off. Yep, 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 yep. These are off like a... Shoot, these are crooked as a dog's hind leg. Uh-huh. I know... That this YouTube time limit stinks like my wife's cooking. Because 10 minutes is just, just not enough, people. It's not enough for teaching videos anyway. Maybe somebody on there jabbering their butt off about nonsense, I might get tired. But we have the option of turning it off. You know, at least we'd have the option to post. I guess YouTube's got to think about server space and all that good stuff, too. Okay, guys. We got us a little Superman emblem here. Let's get the space car and go back out. Now look at there. What is that? Superman. Okay. Let's do a little bit more. Let's go to... Let's, let's select our edges. And we'll box select the whole thing. And we'll extrude it. Okay. Well, we'll just extrude it a little bit, too. I don't want to extrude it too much. Like that right there. I mean, you could go way back with it. But I'm not going to. So now we got that. So now, let's deselect everything. Let's select by shift selecting these edges around the back. Like this. I'll select this and then this one. And this one. And then I'm going to use another command we got by going up here to modify. Or, and hitting fill hole. Or, I can right click and type fill hole. And there we go. Let's make a, a new material. And we'll make that one black. All black. Let's deselect everything. Let's go to our polygon mode. We'll select the back. Phone's ringing, but we don't care, do we? We'll apply, and there we go. We have us a cool Superman emblem. It's a little bit extruded there, and there we go. And this is Silo, guys. Check it out. It's wonderful. Later.